Hey MedGeekers, Caitlin here, and for this week's episode, I want to go over the differential diagnosis of an elevated white blood cell count. Um, when people see this result on the CDC and the lab results, uh, that you're usually thinking of infection, which isn't a bad idea because infection is one of the most common causes of an elevated white blood cell count, um, and it's one of the most dangerous, but there are also a couple other differential diagnoses of this elevation that you can see. Um, so let's get started. So just to establish a couple definitions that you might hear in clinical practice, uh, leukocytosis is another word to describe elevation of white blood cell count. And there are many different types of elevations in white blood cell counts. Um, so white blood cells can be neutrophils, eosinophils, um, lymphocytes, and neutrophilia is an elevation in those neutrophils, uh, predominantly causing the white blood cell elevations. Um, but Leukocytosis can be caused from elevations of eosinophils, monocytes, basophils, and lymphocytes, although neutrophilia is the most common cause. With neutrophilia being the most common cause of an elevated white blood cell count, I kind of want to focus on that in this video. Um, and neutrophilia can come from autonomous causes, so mild proliferative diseases like malignant cancers, um, and that would be a primary cause or a reactive process in the body from some sort of secondary cause. So we'll talk about that next. So I mentioned again, the most common cause of neutrophilia is infection, um, and usually it is a bacterial in nature. Um, it is only viral in nature if you see concomitant lymphocyte formation. Um, so just make sure you keep that in mind when you're considering both and the etiology of these elevated white blood cell counts. So another cause of neutrophilia can be inflammation inside the body. So this can range anywhere from rheumatologic disorders like RA to sarcoidosis, Crohn's disease, um, and figuring out whether the elevated white blood cell count is from this inflammation is usually a diagnosis of exclusion. So it's hard to tell from a microbiology standpoint. So this and the clinical context of the patient can diagnose with inflammation causes of that white blood cell count elevation. Another common cause of neutrophilia can be medications the patients may be on. So a common cause of this can be glucocorticosteroids. So any type of steroids the patient is taking for whatever reason. Um, steroids have the propensity to cause elevations in granulocyte formations from the bone marrow, causing just mild elevations of white blood cell count. Um, another one that's very common is um, immunocompromised patients like cancer patients taking uh, drugs that stimulate white blood cell counts because their white blood cell counts are so low from receiving chemo and radiation. Um, drugs like Neulasta are common uh, to me, most common one I can find in that area. And then you can also have drug reaction type medication causes an elevation of white blood cell counts. So if you have a drug reaction, usually it manifests itself uh, clinically with the patient. So they might have like anaphylaxis or a rash, like a drug rash. Um, and usually with the diff, they have elevations in eosinophils as well. Another cause of neutrophilia is any type of stress on the body. So either emotional or physical stress. So this can be anywhere from difficult job responsibilities, uh, vigorous exercise, heat stroke, seizures, um, or after a surgery. Um, I actually saw a patient that came in with a heat stroke, got basic labs on her, and her white blood cell count ended up being in the 20,000s. Um, so first we ruled out any type of infection, implement, inflammation causes of it, and uh, any medication causes of her elevated white blood cell count. Um, and we eventually just discharged her, uh, attributing it to the heat stroke and told her to follow up with her primary care to kind of trend these white blood cell count elevations. And one of the last secondary causes of neutrophilia I want to talk about is smoking. So the mechanism behind how smoking causes elevations in white blood cell count is unknown, um, but it has been hypothesized that it's related to smoking-induced inflammation in the body. So consider this in your clinically stable patients who have no signs of infection, um, who are smokers, and have a mild bump in their white blood cell count. So all those that we just talked about are 
secondary types of elevations in white blood cell count. Um, of course, there are primary causes of neutrophilia, which start at the bone marrow level. And some of these things can be leukemia, like CML, um, polycythemia vera, or essential thrombocytopenia. So I just want to touch on one of the leukemia, CML, really quickly just because it is so commonly found on your board. So if you can recall, this is usually found in older individuals with elevated white blood cell count with a lot of differentiation in the diffs of bands and blastocytes. So um, you will also see something very commonly associated with this called the Philadelphia chromosome. And... Um, Remember this for test questions because those two tend to run together for sure. And one of the mnemonics that I definitely learned in school was uh, the Philadelphia cream cheese mnemonic. So that'll just help you remember that Philadelphia goes with CML. So, um, and that's it guys. Thanks for listening. Tune in next Wednesday. Mm -hmm.